today's workout, as you guys can guess by the title, was back and shoulders, more emphasis on the back. Started off with, I don't know what you call these, I forget, X cable, X something, I don't know. But um, did lightweight, just focusing on putting blood into my upper back and then rear delts. And then I supersetted this with pull-ups, wide grip pull-ups. And as you guys know, I like to always start my back workouts with pull-ups. I did 16 of this and then eight pull-ups. Just, you know, nice and simple. But um, I may look a little bit fat. And that was because the past, I think two days ago, so Saturday, today's uh, Tuesday, but Saturday I had my cousin's graduation, and then day before, um, we set up everything. Day after, we had to literally clean everything and recuperate from the major major party damage, but um, yeah, everything should be simple. Everything should be nice and clear schedule wise but um anyways if I look fat that's because I didn't track any macros or anything I just ate to my heart my heart was content uh, but speaking of being a little bit bloated have you guys ever ripped your guys's pants uh, or clothing I remember one time I've had I've had it happen to me twice uh, the first time I was uh, I guess a little bit fortunate if you want to say that but uh, I was at my community college, so I was what, 19, 20, I don't know, something like that. And I just got off work, so I went to class, got there early, waiting for class to start. So I saw some of my friends, they were playing hacky sack. Hacky sack was like a really big thing at my school. Um, don't, know why, don't know why, I have no idea why. But uh, yeah, I was playing hacky sack with them. And I went to go reach for the ball, you know, try to save it. And that was probably a bad idea because after I stretched my right leg out, I heard a huge rip. And the entire side of my uh, pants just ripped from the very, very bottom all the way to the top. So right after uh, those pull-ups, that superset I did, I did these uh, cable rows kind of higher. And now the whole camera going up, I did not intend for that to happen. but. Somehow it just raised up and the lighting got a little bit better. So I don't know, I need to get like a better stand for my camera so that way I'm not doing these weird, awkward, you know, lower type views. But I did uh, 12, 10, I forget how many I did. Um, but the whole, how much I did and everything for today's workout will be in the bottom of the description. But, uh, where was I? Yeah, it ripped all the side of my leg and it was really embarrassing because all my friends were there and they are like, dude, that sucks. And especially since class about to start. So this is where I was saying, I don't know if you want to call this fortune or not. I happened to have an extra pair of pants in my vehicle. Like I said, I just got off work, so I changed. Uh, but where I work is at a restaurant and we we just got a new shipment of seafood so we got you know fish clams all that good stuff and that day that day i was you know putting the halibut uh which is a fish if you guys don't know that uh putting the halibut away in the freezer and the juice not a lot, but some juice of the fish got on my pant leg, pant legs. So it, they stunk the pant leg up like fish. So I could either do two things. One, I can go to class with ripped pair of pants. Or two, I can go with just the most smelliest pair of pants, but at least they won't be ripped. Then right after that, I did some um, bent over rows, I think these were called. Uh, I forget the names of these things. There's so many things to call them, but um, I believe I did eight. I was really focusing on the squeeze, as you guys will see on the last, I think, three. I'll try to hold it for one to two seconds, and then just squeeze. And then right after that, I did some rope pullovers, rope pulls. Um, I cannot think of any names right now. 
but uh, forget how many I did of these. Maybe 12, 10, I don't know. And I, oh, I supersetted this uh, with some cable, uh, cable rows. I think that's what it's called. Lat rows. This guy. Uh, Benny Wizard was like, yeah. So I ended up going to class with, I changed, I changed my pants, went to class, smelled, I was probably the most smelliest kid in that entire room. And the most, like the worst thing that could ever happen to me on that day was there was a girl that I thought was really cute. She never sat by me the entire semester, entire quarter, but that day, the day I had to wear smelly pants. So you can imagine how like, how embarrassed I was and she never sat next to me ever again. I can tell you that. So that was the first, that was the second time I ever ripped my pair of pants. So like I said, you can call that fortunate. The second, the first time I ever ripped my pants was at high school or no middle school. And this time I wasn't so fortunate uh, because I didn't have an extra pair of pants. What's up, Miko? Uh, but we, like during, during lunchtime, we would always go out and we would play football. And we were told not to play actual football, so we were told to play flag football. But us, you know, being middle schools, we, middle school kids, we didn't care. We were rebels. Um, now we moved on to shoulders. Now this thing... I took this from uh, Dana Lynn Bailey and Rob Bailey. I don't know what you would call this. I call it the Four Horsemen because you're going to do four exercises. As you saw, you're going to do behind the back overhead press, you're going to do 10. You're going to do front overhead press, you're going to do 10. And then what you'll see pretty soon is you're going to do uh, front raises, 10, and then upright rows for 10. I think that's what they're called, upright, upright something. We're gonna do that 10, 10, 10, and 10, those four movements. Um, I did it for three sets of 10. Well, yeah, I did I did three sets of those. And trust me, it looks like I have, I can I could do overhead press heavier weight with that. I could do front raises heavier. I could do all of those four movements heavier. But when you're doing all four back to back to back to back, it, you might, you wanna go light. Um, and then the upright rows, not the upright rows, but the front raises, what I try to think about when I do those is not to use momentum as much. So if I have to, I'll take a break. Um, as you'll see in the next clip, I'll, I'll, uh, when I get done with the overhead presses, I'll set the, bar, uh, the barbell down and take a break. Uh, so that way I don't use momentum and just mainly focus on the muscles that I'm trying to hit. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so we were playing actual football, you know, not supposed to, a bunch of middle school kids. And I went to go tackle someone, and I think I missed, I forget, but what I ended up hearing was a huge rip. Again, the right side of my pant, I don't know what's up with my right side, just completely ripped. And this time it went all the way up, like literally to the family jewels, I guess, area, that, that place. It went from all the way from the bottom of my shoe. All the way up and this was during lunchtime so around noon I still had three more hours I still had about three more classes to go to so the entire time I was walking around or going to class with one entire pant leg ripped open and I think um, I got told by the teacher to step out and put like tape scotch tape to try to tape it up so my you know my entire leg wasn't showing that was really embarrassing but uh yeah, have you guys ever ripped clothes when you guys were uh, at school or, I don't know, in a public place? And uh, did you guys have extra clothes? Like me. And were they clean? And not so disgustingly filled with fish. Who's here, Miko? So, sorry about the barking, that's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. I don't know why he always barks at everything. But after I got done doing the Four Horsemen, um, I ended up doing uh, seated lateral raises, dumbbell lateral raises, and then I supersetted this with straight lateral raises, straight arm lateral raises, I think that's what you would call them. Again, I cannot remember any names right now. We're going to call them straight arm lateral raises. Fly like a bird. Tweet tweet. But I did 10-10. Uh, lightweight, just really focusing, 
on as you can see I don't come all I have the dumbbells hit my legs so when they go all the way down they hit my legs to stop any kind of momentum I'm not a I'm a really big fan of you know using good form and everything I don't like using a lot of momentum but I did 10 uh, two sets of 10 I believe of those or 2 sets of 20 10 and 10 and then after that I did this behind the back uh, pulls I think that's what they're called just because I did a lot of you know pushing moments when I was doing the uh, the four horsemen this one I'm actually you know pulling it down now but yeah that was a workout that was my story second story for today hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next video and as always take care and take care of your guys' pants or shorts or shirts or whatever